Hi everyone, I'm Maura Black here at Chisholm, Chisholm and Kilpatrick with a brief but important CCK Live update for you all. The Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson honoring our promise to address Comprehensive Toxics Act of 2021, commonly known as the PACT Act, has finally been approved by Congress and signed into law by the President. So to recap, the PACT Act includes several important measures for veterans suffering from military toxic exposures. These include an expansion of the presumptions related to Agent Orange exposure at locations such as Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Guam, American Samoa, and Johnston Atoll, the addition of two new conditions to the presumptive list for herbicide exposure, the addition of more than 20 burn pit and toxic exposure-related conditions to VA's list of presumptions for Gulf War and post-9-11 veterans across multiple locations, changes to retroactive dependency and indemnity compensation for qualifying dependents of newly eligible veterans, a federal cause of action for veterans and their families affected by the water at Camp Lejeune, and the overall expansion and improvement of VA resources, research, and training programs related to toxic exposed veterans. To learn more about the changes and the specifics of the PACT Act, we've posted a video going through the many facets of the act. You can find it on our website, cck-law.com, or on our YouTube channel and other platforms. So just to recap why it took so long for the bill to finally come to its conclusion and to be signed today, the passage of the highly anticipated PACT Act has been repeatedly stalled in recent weeks. So it was originally expected to pass sometime in June, although there have been several roadblocks since then. The PACT Act was initially passed by the Senate in an 84 to 14 vote in mid-June, and it notably received overwhelming support from Republican senators. The bill was then delayed before being passed over to the House of Representatives due to debate over a particular section of the bill by the Veterans Affairs Committee. After some edits were made, some minor edits to the bill, it was approved by the House on July 13th in a 342 to 88 vote. This slightly updated bill was then returned to the Senate for a second final vote. And surprisingly at that time, despite the support that the bill received during the previous Senate vote, the bill was met with resistance and the votes came in at only 55 to 42, meaning that the votes were not enough to meet the 60 vote minimum threshold that the bill needed to pass the Senate at the point of that second vote. This was very frustrating and unexpected as the bill's reception was initially so positive and only minor changes had been made between the first and second Senate votes on the bill. However, the PACT Act has finally received a majority vote in the Senate as of last week and it has moved on to the president and has been signed by the president today. So very big news, very exciting updates. And, um, you know, this is a huge win for millions of veterans and their families, and it will provide long overdue benefits, compensation, and resources to those affected by herbicide and other military toxic exposures. So thank you for tuning in for this really exciting update. More information about the specific provisions included in the PACT Act, again, can be found on our blog, our website, cck-law.com, and also um, on other platforms where we post information for you all. Thank you again for tuning in.